All right, so this is going to be a very short one uh, on, on how to actually download Touch Designer and uh, updating it. So if you want to download it, you can just go to the Derivative CA website and then click on Get It Now. Um, and you can instantly down download it for Windows uh, and Mac here, and you're going to get an installer. I'm not going to actually show you how to install it because that's pretty straightforward. I'm going to make another video on um, on the licensing system, but for now it's totally fine if you just have a free version because we're not going to use anything that's um, uh, that's not possible in the free version. So basically in a free version, like you can use the whole software, but you have a few restrictions like the resolution is limited or that you can't make money with this, that you're not supposed to make money with that. So. Um, if you um, if you've downloaded and installed your software, you're gonna always um, be greeted by this project, <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's yeah pretty straightforward. Uh, we're gonna talk about the interface in the next video. What's just important now in this video is uh, how to update it. So if you do have an update, um, it, this button up here is gonna um, be green and say update. So then you can click on that and then you'll always be directed to this site again. So this this web page here. And then you can download the new installer and then install the new version. And um, yeah, uh, then the old one's gonna be replaced. So the thing about updates is um, that I definitely recommend you updating your software because there's always great uh, new features coming out. They're really working a lot on the software. And um, yeah, also when you download your software, by the way, have a look at the system requirements. So um, if, if your uh, PC actually or Mac, if, you, if that works with, uh, with touch. There's also uh, one thing about the uh, downloading. There's also some, some versions called experimental versions. So these are the versions that they use to um, test new features or to, yeah, to tr just try out new things. So these aren't really like stable builds, so they, they sometimes crash because they're still working on some stuff. So I wouldn't recommend the uh, um, like downloading these if you actually want to have a performance or if you want to give your version to a customer or something. Uh, same with updating, like um, usually like touch design is pretty stable, I'd say. Um, but if you like update and you, you have already built a setup and then you're gonna have a performance, then don't update before that. Uh, yeah, makes sense. All right, so so much for this video. I'm not now gonna get into the uh, actual interface.